Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Mississippi Girl Gardening and Couponing in NC. I am Tamika coming at you with not an oldie, but a goodie video. So this is a garden video. So y'all, let me go ahead and say, it's been so much rain. Oh, these storms seem like they come straight up the East Coast. And once they do it, guess who gets all the rain? We do, because we're coastal. So, all these storms that came up, I mean, they just have dumped rain, dumped rain. Doing that, they have brought so many bugs. I mean, sometimes, like most of the time, you can, how to, how to put this, you can um, stay on top of the bugs. But when it's a lot of rain and it's days that you don't go outside, that you can't go outside, ain't no need of spraying because the rain just washing it right off. Bugs accumulate. So, whew. And then I had an issue of something coming out here eating up my cabbage. I still ain't found him yet. I'm going to find him. And it's not bugs. This is something bigger because it's like taking the whole, the, all the leaves, like overnight. Like it's taking the whole thing out the bucket. <laughs> yeah. So it's a struggle this, this fall with gardening. A struggle. Really is. There's like a yellowing from the sun, y'all. So if it's like a yellowing tint. And then I was eating, so I have food. But a yellowing tin, I can tell. Um, yeah. Um, so, like I said, let's go ahead and get into this video. Yeah. All right, you guys. So, walking out, going over to where I got the cabbage and stuff. And I got to get out here and do some work. Like I said, I hadn't been able to because of all the rain. But I see something good. I can't, I can't um see y'all. So, and I'm looking because it's still wet. It's so wet out here, and all this. Look at my cabbage. This is not good for cabbage. Look at this, y'all. Like you can see where it was growing, and like the bugs. Like I say, oh, mm, I got one good one over there that he ain't took out the pot yet. You see all these right here? There was holes. It like literally came and took it all out the pot. The okra have died back. I'm going to be cutting those down. I think I'm going to dedicate Monday for my garden day. And y'all will see it because I will be filming it. If it's God's will, Monday will be my garden day um, to get out here and get this stuff done. So these cabbage right here looks mighty good. Not too many bugs. I'm going to get my stuff and come out here and spray um, here because we ain't getting no rain in the forecast for the next couple of days over here the bugs have literally had a field day minus the one i don't know if it's i don't know what it is raccoon or what but he yeah so i gotta put some stuff in that in those pots right here and i'm looking because it's like webs and stuff right here i think was the broccoli yep these are broccoli and they look like they manage them they manage them so I'm going to help them out. Um, I got some stuff I need to fertilize and all like that. Look like that one right there is gone. But those, I'm going to see if I can say because I see new growth on those. But what really got me to thinking, okay, it's not all bad is because right here, y'all see that? Broccoli. Broccoli. Out of all that mayhem broccoli and i'm not going over there because i see a lot of spider webs and like i said i got to get my thing and come out here and just clean this all up but the broccoli look like it's trying to survive y'all it's trying to survive i see a head of broccoli there and i see some coming over there so i can see that from here um also on this one right here you see that got broccoli coming got broccoli coming so yeah and these look strong they look more durable so Come out here and clean this up. I have to cut this off the celery, but the rest of the celery is doing really, really good. All the celery actually is really doing good. So I haven't nothing got to that. So um look like my acorn squash is doing good. The karabi, not so good. But I'm gonna try to figure that out. Eggplant is still producing. These is from the springtime, y'all. And they still producing, but they getting to the end. I'm going to take what I can off, but you can tell they dying back. These are the plants, like I say, from springtime, from this past spring. So they've been doing their thing. Um, 
this is a cucumber plant that I started from seed and it's blooming and stuff it has a little cucumber on it so I'm gonna come and spray and see what I can do as far as that oh and I got peppers to come off y'all this one is leaning he is so ready he got so many peppers on him this is another springtime pepper plant like from the spring and they got so many peppers on so I'm about to come out here and get these peppers I'm probably gonna get them when I get through with this video um now I'm talking about 10 I am I'm gonna go ahead and get these peppers but lots of peppers these are the Carolina Reaper peppers that hubby is growing the hubby is growing so he got to come out here and get those off mm -mm, not working over here is some eggplants well, the, hold on y'all it's an aircraft going on so over here is the black beauty eggplant y'all couldn't see it from the other side but if you look closely you can see got some there so I got quite a bit of harvesting to come get for well, harvest to come get I got some harvesting to do <laughs> and like I was saying all these banana peppers and then right here is the poblano peppers look at that one so big y'all I'm gonna get these today because I don't want nothing to go ahead and eat in them or anything like that so these are the big berthas and the pimento peppers so I'm gonna get those before I head out um let's go around here and see this is the orange bell oh I got a big this is my um was that my giant maconi yeah so yeah I got some peppers to come get y'all and look right here and this is November y'all and they still producing still producing so I know I'm doing it right wait till this spring come <laughs> Yes, like I told y'all in that video, start preparing now. Look at the banana peppers, y'all, from this end. Look at that. So many banana peppers. I mean, they are everywhere. So, I'm going to have to go ahead and take those off. These are the peppers that I did. Um, we got some harvest on those. The Cherokee wax. So, yeah. I got some work to come out here and do. Because all that range is pretty much damaged. A lot of stuff but you you can savage that back and if you can't oh well that's when you got seeds that's why you keep seeds so you can eat um and give y'all a little update real quick so um i go to have my food allergy testing done on monday hopefully they can skin test me for a gluten that way i can get it documented um but my kids had their physical this week and everything is good with them but i did mention their stomach issues and the doctor said that if my test come back um gluten sensitive that the kids immediately need to go off gluten because it's hereditary and they already showing signs um so they she told me that they gluten is not a uh, um something that you need to have and also dairy we have an issue with cow's milk so we're going on straight almond milk so it's completely y'all know i already fairly eat healthy but those things with the dairy and the gluten is really and she said people don't understand how serious gluten is if you have a sensitivity so even gardening helps us out a lot because i can grow what i want what don't bother us so you know I'm getting back in the swing this year, but next spring, if it's God's will, I'm going to be growing everything that don't bother us. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's the update. So, I will let you guys know how my allergy skin test turned out on Monday, if it's God's will. I will let y'all know. Um, try to get them to go ahead and skin test me for dairy, eggs. Um, I don't know if they, I hope they can do the gluten through the skin. If not, wheat. If they do wheat, then that'll let me know right there. Um, because I'll just classify that as <laughs> gluten if, that, if that's because sometimes you have to like just know your body or see what bothers you and what don't. But I, I have to pay out of pocket for it. So yeah, it's expensive, but hey, your health is more important. So, and I'm sick of not eating right because I don't know what to eat. So yeah, I get that done. Um, Monday. So you see how beneficial growing is for us um 
Yeah, so these are more beans, and they doing really good. All the new, they are doing good. And I actually used my bug spray on this one. This one had got infested. I used my bug spray, and it seemed like it is continuing to work, even though I haven't been able to come out here and spray. Also, this one, too. This is snap, um, the snap peas, and I forget whatever. I, I threw some other beans in there, and I forgot the label. But, hey, we'll know when they grow. But they are doing really, really good. Um, those are cow peas over there. This is all the tomato plants right here that hubby had just threw in there. And they are still doing, they're not producing much, but a lot of greenery. Well, this is one because he cleared them all out. So now it's one tomato plant that has went crazy. Um, oh, it is. It's, it's flowering. So we're going to see what it does. What it does. Where do you see tomatoes at? He says tomatoes on it. I don't see them yet. Oh, it do have little tomatoes. Y'all can see them in between there. It does. So we're going to see how. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does. So we're going to see what it do, what it do. And then these are all his pepper plants that he did. Oh, you got another Aren't You Sweet. This one right here is really good, y'all. It is really good. Um, But yeah, look at this. I don't know the name. I know you got the frying pan, the Aren't frying You Sweet. Frying pan frying pan one right there and they're not hot none of these over here is hot right none of these are hot um and then these are different type of bell peppers right there so yeah y'all remember how pretty she was she is dying back but i see new growth under there so i'm hoping but you see how round she was and how full she was and i had got her as a little bitty plant and she um is like dying back or whatever now but we're gonna see what she do all right so let's go ahead over here to this area these are some flowers i had put in that's the hibiscus so they dying back but then they bring in newer flowers so those are so pretty so i need to come and get the dead parts off and it'll be fine um this is a tomato plant that we had and i don't know what it's doing i'm just kind of leaving it there it's got tomatoes on it. we're gonna see what what it do also all the way over here are tomato plants now um i think i had one that was my pear tomato is it right here and i started that from seed yeah it is my pear tomato i started from seed i'm gonna have to cage it i want to see what it's gonna do probably with the cold probably gonna beat it um, but we're going to see. But you never know because let me show you this right here. Look at this tomato plant. Look at all those tomatoes, y'all. Look at that. All those tomatoes in November. And look over here. And they big, too. Like, you saw these tomatoes over here? Look, y'all. They are just, oh, my goodness. Yes, so the rain do help. Oh, we waiting on them to turn. They look like these um, green plums that we used to have growing up. We could just pull them off and it was like the green ones. They were so good. Um, these are my blue lake beans. I had to put some more because the ones that was in there had um, messed up. So I had to plant some more seeds. So they doing good. These are also, I think these are my purple ones. They're doing good. Now, I see something white right there. look like powder mildew. I got my spray. I'm going to get my spray and come out here and spray that. Um, what? The butterfly? Thank you. And then over here is some more blue lake beans. And look how good that look, y'all. So, they doing really, really well. Um, same here. Let me get by. It's still really wet out here, y'all. Um, in here is some karabis. I had put some karabi seeds in there and I see that they are budding. Um, these are my rainbow carrot, carrots. They're coming up mighty well. Right here is some radishes and I got to get that straw out of there, but I can see the radish leaves. Um, and, huh? Okay. And right here is my watermelon radishes. And I'm going to come and spray those. I had started all these from seeds. So I didn't want to spray anything until they kind of mature more. So, yeah. Um, and then, 
Y'all remember when you've been following me, I had the tomato plant right here in a bucket. Well, some seeds must have got around because look what's growing. A tomato plant. Summer, move. You trying to be in the video? Oh, she's trying to show out for y'all. Look at this. Let her get her 15 seconds. Oh, Lord. Okay. She done. <laughs> she had to show out. <laughs> Okay, so y'all remember the little plant, the well, the flower I just showed y'all was dying back that I really, really like. Let me show you. It was sitting right here. So it dropped some seeds when it was right here, and look what's growing. Yup, she is growing, y'all. She growing. So I was so happy when I saw that. So, so happy when I saw that. Um, so, yeah, y'all. So this this part so let's go on over here to um fruit land which not much going on of course because of the season and like i say i hadn't been able to get out here i got some empty containers right there that one gotta get cleaned out it's empty um oh it's ready it's ready can you, it's ready y'all so let me look around make sure we're about to do it on camera I am going to pull the first lemon off the lemon Meyer tree. So, make sure ain't no bugaboos over here. Let's see, make sure y'all can see. That's an ant on it. And I want him off before I pull it. <laughs> I think I got it. All right. Let me see if I can twist it off. Nope. Ta da! First lemon. First lemon. Wow, y'all. First lemon. And they still coming, y'all. And this is a five gallon bucket. Look. It's a five gallon. Look, look at this. I'm doing something right. Look at this. <laughs> they still coming. Like I said, y'all, it's not hard. You know, water, little nourishment. If you don't get out here, your water is the main key. See, they budding. Water is the main key. You ain't got to do over fertilizing and all that stuff. It's not hard. Just have fun with it. And you'll get it. Now, even though I can't eat this lemon... Cause I have acid reflux, but my husband liked the grill. He loves the grill. So guess what? He have a fresh lemon. He can put on the grill with you know whatever meat and stuff he likes. So I can still grow stuff like that that he eats. Um, something came out here and ate my figs, y'all. Yeah, I'ma find it. Is whatever was eating my Chinese cabbage came and went eating my figs. Yep. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find out. Let me find out. Is that little bugaboo right there? No, it's not her because she, she, she be in the house. So, but what I do want to say, wait a minute, it was something on my hand. I do want to say, y'all remember that tangerine tree that had got that mildew on it? It was a disease or something. And I cut it all the, well, actually, hubby cut it all the way down to where it was just a stick. Just a stick. Cut it all the way down. Look at it now. That's it right now. It's done grow, grown, grown. Over here is my blackberry bush. I'm going to have to pull it from in the corner. This is my greenhouse that he bought for me. And I'm going to have to get some stuff to put in here. I got to figure out what to put in here. Like I say, Monday, I'm dedicating all day Monday um, until it's time for me to go for my allergy testing on cleaning up the garden. I'm going to have to get up early. So this is the little greenhouse that he got. And I haven't put none in it. Um, but yeah. So that's this area. This is the ice spot watermelon. And we had cleared it out. But it looked like it's trying to grow some, y'all. <laughs> I'm just so happy about the lemon. This is the blueberry bush. It's done. And this thing uh, fell over on it. But she's doing good. Lemon. 
So, yeah, I have to come out here because this rain just has. Whew. So, up here is my. This was a Brilliant Blooms little plant. And it had like died off or whatever. But look what it's doing. It's growing back. Um, all that rain. Listen how serious it was. So this was my what is it? Um, bright light switch chart. I started from seeds. Well, apparently I put it in a bucket that didn't have no holes in it. I didn't know. It was out here. I thought it had holes in it. I didn't look. And all that rain that we just got. Look, y'all. Bucket full of floating plants. Ain't that some? So now I got to get some and drill some holes inside. Because ain't no holes in it. That's why it held the water. You got to have drainage. But I didn't know, y'all. Um, Up here is some more Swiss chard. I started from seeds. All that is Swiss chard. These are empty. I got to put something in. It was lettuce, but them little bugs infested it. And I ain't want to deal with it. I threw it away. Um, over here is when I did Shirley. I showed you guys how you could just throw them seeds in and plant different things. Well, this is some cilantro, some oregano. Um, all this was from seeds. My um, basil right here, rosemary. I said cilantro. This is a kohlrabi plant that I got to put out there. I think both of these are kohlrabi. No, this is turnip root, and this is kohlrabi. Right here, I see some of the little bugs. Y'all see this? It's like infested with them. But it's on this lettuce. And it's on that one. So I'm probably going to take these two away from here. This is kale. It's looking good. All that kale is looking good. But it's on this lettuce. Even this kale is good. And it's right beside it. This kale is good. And these are mustard spinach that I just started from seed some weeks ago and they're looking really good so yeah you guys all right you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I've enjoyed the gardening tour and everything that's going on in it and like I say I'm just so happy of my first Maya lemon it's a little green on this side but it's sit and continue to get yellow um but i'm just so happy for it five gallon bucket and you get a lemon this size y'all this size this size so hope you guys enjoyed this video go out and grow something become self more self-sufficient and growing your own food um even um even a good way to benefit from um healthy food and eating um like you're supposed to and stuff like that so yeah you guys so i am a happy camper yes i am oh yes i am i got this and i can't even eat it but hey it is what it is he can use it because he like doing stuff like that so with that being said hope you guys enjoy be safe um and i'll see you guys in the next one until next time happy gardening